Hi. From left to right, we are Harsh, Eric, Yuta, Ivan, and working remotely, Varun. And this is Tripod, our three-legged robotic dog. Tripod was born and raised within this past semester in our robot design and experimentation class at CMU. Our bio-inspiration for this project was the ability of dogs that are missing their leg to modify their gait or walking motion to be able to balance themselves through trotting or even running by moving their lone leg into their body. Taking a closer look at this motion, three-legged dogs support themselves by having their center of mass contained within a support polygon, or a triangle formed by drawing and connecting lines between each foot of the dog. And while examining the gates of these dogs, we became curious as to how much energy these dogs would have to expend given that they're now completely missing one leg. The application of quadrupeds, or four-legged robots that are missing a leg, but are still able to function as optimally as possible even when one leg is damaged, like this dog, is widespread and could be utilized in search and rescue missions or traversal over suboptimal terrain. However, examining energy usage of a dog translated to a robot is no easy task. And while prior research has shed information on gates of these dogs, to our knowledge, no gait studies have analyzed whether or not three-legged dogs modify their walking pattern to actively minimize the amount of energy it uses. So our research question was twofold. First, can we determine the amount of energy a three-legged dog expends based on their gait? And second, is this the most optimal usage of their energy? To construct our robot, we used nine Dynamixel motors with three on each leg, each comprised of a hip, knee, and elbow joint per leg, and some laser-cut wooden pieces put together that were inspired from the structure of a three-legged dog. These three legs were connected to an OpenCR microcontroller on top of the dog, which communicated the individual joint positions of each leg to each of the nine motors, which had accurate inbuilt position-based controllers. To test our twofold research question, we first graphed an animation of the natural gait of one leg of a three-legged dog, and then we used trajectory optimization to develop another gait, which is mathematically optimized for reducing energy usage in order to compare the two and see which one really uses less energy. From our simulation, we found that the optimized walking motion used quicker movements and was able to complete one step faster than the natural observed gait. We tested this on our robot and it was able to track the optimized trajectory quite accurately as well. However, even though our simulation was indicating quicker movements, we determined that the motor torque on the lone back leg from our optimization was actually larger compared to that of the dog's lone back leg. Upon running a comparison of both gates on our robot, we concluded that the observed natural gait of a three-legged dog minimizes energy usage more effectively than the optimized gait we developed, leading us to the surprising conclusion that three-legged dogs actually do minimize the amount of energy they use to some extent. And in the future, we hope to develop a more advanced trajectory optimization, possibly with reinforcement learning, to try and develop a better point of comparison for the natural gait of this dog. 